thank you, Adam, for this introduction. Totally unexpected, especially for the base on which you build this much more modest uh, kind of book. Uh, in fact, tonight I will uh, talk about drawing, but more than drawing, I'm talking about uh, experiencing townscape through the medium of narration. In fact, uh, this lecture was uh, organized to present the book which came out uh, this spring in uh, the United States, called in fact Florence and Lack of Perceptions. And uh, the book is about uh, uh, experiencing Florence uh, going around with a notebook instead of a sketchbook. I would say I, I started to do this kind of uh, experiment uh, about 10 years ago, one summer. I was in Florence. Generally, you don't stay in office in Florence. It's too hot. It's uh, uh, unbearable uh, to be there because everything is shut down except for the tourist shops. And so I decided, instead of going around with my sketchbook to bring a notebook, to see how I could uh, enjoy myself first place, but how I could also experience townscape by putting down uh, reflections, uh, thoughts about what I was uh, looking at, what I was feeling, uh, perceiving the city, let's say, with those senses. And in fact, the result was this uh, small report called the uh, Florence and Apple Perception. Then later on, I've added more details, and uh, it was uh, published this year in the United States. That's why the lecture is called Visual versus Narrative. Because uh, to me, it's always been a little bit a, a dilemma, let's say, to choose what to do, even because I enjoy to do both, of course. And, uh, uh, but I think uh, that uh, the basic concept behind uh, experiencing downscale through visual means, or through narrative means, are pretty much the same. Uh, so the lecture is about this subject, but then at the end uh, I also show you a small video uh, of this project I did in California, just because I come up now come from California and uh, we inaugurated this house and I showed this uh, video over there. So the first uh, image you can see here somehow explain this ambiguity between the two modes of operations. Uh, there is not uh, really a, a, a strong borderline. Uh, we can, uh, we can uh, experience our feelings and express them uh, in both ways. You know, through lines, but which kind of lines? That lines that become drawings or lines that become writing. In fact, in uh, other books I've done generally about my design work, uh, sometimes instead of introduction or explaining uh, in a, let's say, more complex way my ideas or my inspiration, I do this kind of sketches in which there are few words that uh, point what I am, uh, being, what I've been inspired by or for analogies, uh, affinities with some work uh, of uh, other architects, for example, but also about just the general subjects. And then uh, trying to express also by drawing, like in a parallel way, the same concept. So on the left side, you see a sketchbook, the typical sketchbook that most of the students should bring around when they travel, but also, I guess, uh, in all the occasions. And on the right side, the notebook. The, uh, the, most of the sketchbook was uh, resulted in a book that was printed, was published a few years ago, called Florence Changing Viewpoints, which is, in fact, uh, mostly about uh, images, uh, maps, uh, interpretation of the townscape through itineraries, and so on. The second, the, the right side picture, 